Oh, how you guys doing? You're back. Today's video is about this new Zendur Super Bass V power station. 4,600 watt, absolute powerhouse. This is by far the biggest and most technologically advanced power station that I've ever tested. Party mode. No way, it drives itself. This thing can take up to 3,000 watts of solar. So once I get a big solar field set up out here at the off-grid property, this is just gonna be the ticket. But it's actually got some very special features that I can't show you out at the property because there's so much dirt here. So let's jump back to my family's house where I picked it up and show you what this thing can do. <laughs> What the heck? Oh. We're testing the biggest power station I've ever seen, let alone owned. Um, I'm super excited. We're gonna bring this up to the property. Big old semi truck pulls up and this guy's like, hey, you wanna buy the garage? And I'm like, is it really that heavy? Well, this is just the satellite battery, they call it the secondary battery. Holy cow, look at this, you guys. Wow, what cool packaging. This could power a house. No, it actually can be backup power for a house. Look at that, it even says it on there. A home energy storage system. Pretty impressive unit. Ooh, I wanna see it in the flesh. All right, all right, let's get it, let's get it out. Wow, what a unit, oh my gosh. I am honestly just blown away right now. Look at the AC plugs. Um, oh my gosh, it's got 120. No way. Look at that, it's got 120, you guys. Wow, some 100 watt USB C's. This thing's nuts. Look at this. DC output on the side, all sorts of different stuff. Holy cow, look at the wheels. Wow, look at all this, too. Really nice case for all the wiring. Look at all that. So, this is the Zendor uh, V4600 watt. Wow, those wheel locks work really good. Oh, we'll go up here. This thing moves really, really nicely. Look at that, it even comes with extra wheels. Just in case you mob the other ones real hard or something. And I can roll around with it a little bit, you know? <laughs> Let's go see what this thing can do. Oh yeah. Don't go mobbing in the dirt like that, Phil. Oh, thing's heavy. That's what you gotta, so it will go through the grass and the dirt, but you gotta pull it from the front because it's heavy. Let's power this, whoa! Look at these lights. I just powering this thing on for the first time and I'm greeted with this light show. So we're at 50% right now. Let's plug in the solar panel and see what kind of charge we can get. They do have good handles on them, which is pretty important. Check it out. We've got a 400 watt solar panel. This is the biggest portable solar panel I've ever had. Um, it's actually pretty small for being 400 watts. Wow, look at the design. It folds right out. the charge cable, oh, it's in here. There's your standard MC4 connector, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so let's go see how much wattage we're getting. Wow, look at that. Our 400 watt panel is bringing in 365 watts. Charging at 50%. Our recharge time is about nine hours, it says. So that's one thing I love about the Zender power stations. It says your recharge time. Also, when you have a load on it, it'll say how long it, it will uh, last till it's dead. Look at that, 240 volts, you guys. This thing has some capacity. So yeah, really cool. We've got nine hours in the sun until we'd be fully charged at 400. Look at this. It's pulling 398, 401? What? 402? Uh, that's too much. That's too much wattage there. 
the screen just timed out. No way, that's nuts. Our 400 watt panel just pulled 402 watts. Never seen that before. That is awesome. Let's get our secondary battery plugged in because it's not even plugged in. Yep, that's a million times easier. <laughs> All right, let's take it inside. Wow, I know. You don't often see me inside, right? This is pretty nice. So it says in my kitchen, but if it was, then I'd put the Zendor Super Base Power Station right over here and plug it on in. So the satellite battery goes right on top of it like this. And you can actually stack multiple of these batteries up on top of it. If you look up here, this is where your first plug-in is going to be. Let me do the other one. They provide this massive cable that uh, is real strong. And then we can plug it in on the top there, and we can come back and plug it in on the side. Yeah, if we had another battery to put on top, we would unplug this put it on top, it would literally just plug into itself. So I think that design is pretty neat. So believe it or not, this thing actually has an app. You can see our battery right here. And we're connected with Bluetooth. We can also connect via Wi-Fi. Um, so one really cool thing with the app is we can go and we can turn our light on and off. Look at that. Not only can we turn it on and off, look, party mode, car breakdown mode, <laughs> fireflies mode. There's all these different lighting modes. So the lights are fun. You can turn AC, DC off. What is this thing? What? Oh my gosh. No way. It drives itself, you guys. What? Wait, what? It's actually turning itself. Oh! No! What? I can actually control it. Look at this. We're gonna go front and to the right. No! Oh! <laughs> I hit the wall. Here, let me show you what I'm doing. This is absolutely nuts. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> so you just grab this and... It goes pretty fast. No way, look at that. Whoa, bonk. <laughs> oh, oh, I whipped it around like, oh, that bonked it just a little bit. <laughs> this thing, you could almost do damage to this thing with this thing. This is way, way too cool. And I mean, it's actually pretty maneuverable. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, obviously most people aren't gonna sit here like me and drive this thing around their kitchen like an RC car, but it could be, it could come in handy a lot if like, I mean, you could put it right in front of this door, for example, or in front of something, and then be like, oh, okay, you wanna get access, something you don't access very often, you wanna get access to it? Back it out of the way. I mean, it's just a couple buttons and clicks and stuff. Oh, actually, here, let's take it on a drive. Peace out. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's literally driving over carpet right now. You bye bye, power station. We'll see you later. <laughs> So we just backed on in because we are going to be running our Nitto electric kettle for the first time off of a power station. This thing has a 3800 watt AC output, but paired with this secondary battery, that output goes up to, <laughs> this is real, I'm not going to cut this just so you can see, 7600 watts. You know, I want to get my numbers right here. This is more wattage than I've ever dealt with. Oh wow, we scratched it up a little on our drive. Nitto just loves putting their logo in everything, and I love it. So, <laughs> let's see how much 
power this thing draws, we'll turn our AC on. Fill it up with water. Man, this thing's fancy, eh? Wow. And then we'll go ahead and set it right there and give it a little click. This is actually a fellow. That's the brand. Ooh, listen to that. We got 1,200 watts we're pulling almost. 1160. So yeah, this thing is, uh, it's at 41 degrees. It's going to 212. And the cool thing about this, of course, I've got the wood stove, like we got propane. I got plenty of ways I can boil water, but the cool thing about this is it gets to the exact degree. So you can get real fancy with your coffee and your teas and such. And uh, also it's just easy. So when I get this up at the property and I've got a lot of solar panels going to it, this thing can take up to 3000 watts, huge solar field going to it. It's a nice sunny day, it's topped up. Of course I'm gonna be using the electric kettle, you know? So, it's like an induction cooktop. So yeah, we're still at 100%. Let's see how much this draws, getting us to 212. I predict, all right, we just got down to 99%. That's gonna give me a little bit of a heads up. I predict 96%. One much power you're gonna draw overall. All right, we're almost there. Wow, it says it could run this thing for five hours. <laughs> Five hours pulling 1200 watts? Holy cow, dude. This thing could totally run an AC unit. We got the satellite battery in party mode. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, look at that steam. Well, and now it's holding it at temp. It's only at 210, not 212 for some reason, but um, it's holding it at 210, which is plenty. And uh, yeah, it's literally like steaming up and it's awesome, it only drew 99%, so we'll turn that off, and uh, yeah, there we go, we got plenty of boiling water. That is cool, I can't wait to use that at the property when we got a bunch of solar panels set up. That was fun, I'm glad that we tested it here um, in a household, mainly so I could show you how this thing mops, but uh, yeah, let's take it up to the off-grid property now in my Kodiak canvas tent and integrate this into off-grid life. And, See how that can change our life, having this much more power. You coming or what? That way, all right, let's see. We gotta go through the grass, see if it does off-road. Nope, won't do off-road. Ah. I guess that's what this is for, huh? Those times that we can give it a little off-road recovery and yeah, you know pull it through the rough stuff Really happy. I got to show you guys how this thing drives though and to test it here at uh, Family's house won't be driving it around the off-grid property. It's a little too rough for that No, the handle does work great though. Look at that. I'm putting all its weight to lift it up that curb And then running it and scraping it on the bottom up There we go. This thing is actually very mobile for how heavy it is. I'm gonna put it in the Jeep. All right, well, this is not gonna be easy. Here goes nothing. Oh. <laughs> wow. So stoked to have this thing up here. It was a crazy ride getting it up. So we're gonna show you that in the next few videos. And uh, yeah, check the links below for more details on this. My hair just keeps getting longer and longer. Comment, let me know what you think about it. Well, mainly about the power station. And uh, like, subscribe, all this stuff. Really the question is, are you down to mob with Zender?